Hey latte lovers, Mark here from wholelattelove.com. Today I'm going to take a look at the very special Jura Z8. This machine, oh, she's got some really premium features, uh, some different ways of dealing with milk, that kind of thing. Later on we'll get into how you can control this machine totally from your smartphone or tablet, including placing drink orders with your voice. But first, let's get right into it. We will go top to bottom, side to side, up and down, all around this machine and make a bunch of drinks. But I want to start right off by showing you, demonstrating a couple of the milk features here. So I'm going to have it make me a cafe latte. The nice lights here. So it, it is a color touch screen display. And I will put this upside because my phone is kind of following along with what's happening on the machine. All these drinks are totally programmable. The machine is just heating up right now. Um, I am using a Jura accessory here. They're 34 ounce cool control. This is a refrigerated unit. You can leave milk in here uh, indefinitely really. It stays at 39 degrees Fahrenheit and keep your milk cold so it's always available. What you're seeing now is parallel preparation. So it's making espresso and milk and right now it's doing heated milk and pretty soon it's going to switch over here to a more of a frothed milk. Again, that's an exclusive with Jura. So I get that little cap of froth on top of my latte and it does that espresso and milk at the same time. You don't find that on other machines. So almost done there and you see everything's following along on my screen. So I'm exactly up here in the main display what's going on as well. And my latte is done. I'll take a little sip of that. I really like that having two different types of milk in the same drink is really cool. You're also going to see that you can program the temperature of both of those milks. I want to take a little taste. Mmm, that's just, just delicious. Now we'll go through it and I'll show you some other milk preparation secrets that this machine has, but let's go through the machine again from side to side. So up top, this, is, this machine uses whole bean coffee, way better than what you're going to get out of a capsule machine. So up here we have a bean hopper, really large, it's got a nice lid here. Uh, with a seal to keep your beans kind of fresh in there. Another thing about this machine, really big capacities compared to other machines. So you can put a lot of beans in there. Right back behind there we have a grind size control. So based on the coffees that you're making or the types of drinks you're making most, you can change the flavor up a little bit by adjusting your grind size. Next door to that, is a place where you can put in pre-ground coffee. Now what a lot of people will use that for is for making decaf from pre-ground. So you know you can have your regular caffeinated beans in the bean hopper and then use some pre-ground decaf in those rare occasions when you might do a decaf. Also Jura's all about making these machines incredibly convenient and easy to use. Now a lot of espresso machines you have a removable brew group in this one, you do not. It stays in the machine. Instead of taking it out for cleaning, you drop in a tablet. It goes right in where that pre-ground coffee would go. The machine will tell you when it's time to do that. You don't have to remember a thing. Just drop that tablet in, press a button, the machine takes care of the rest. Now, it's thinking I'm going to make a, a drink from pre-ground coffee. So on the display, it's going to tell me, hey, you didn't put any coffee in there. There's not enough coffee to make a drink. So it's just going to reset and everything's going to be fine. Over here, really large water tank. Now you can fill this at the machine or you can pull it right off like I'm going to do now. And inside there, you can probably see that, there's a filter in here. So that's a Jura Smart Filter. Looks like this. With these, if you use this properly, number one, you're going to get better tasting beverages because it's going to remove chlorine and those kinds of things. But it's also going to keep uh, the machine from getting any scale developing inside. Now on mo and any other manufacturer's machine, eventually you will have to descale the machine. Use a smart filter on this machine and you never ever have to descale. And they call it smart because it has an RFID chip inside the filter. So the machine automatically knows when you're using the filter, it's going to tell you exactly when you need to change it and it's going to automatically know when you have changed it because of that RFID chip. So I'm just going to put this back on. Okay, let's take a look up front here. I'm going to move my phone out of the way. Up here, so we have a lot of clearance on the spouts here. Um, so you can put, you know, like those taller latte cups like that. A really big coffee mug. Something I'll get to in a minute is this machine. You can make a whole pot of coffee on this machine too. That's a pretty unique feature. More on that in a minute. 
Up front, some other premium features. You actually have uh, aluminum metal panels on the top right here and on the front. And then here, the drip tray is actually a glass drip tray. So a lot of times, these will be metal or plastic, and over time, they get scratched up. This one's not going to get scratched up. Now, when you make a coffee, unlike a capsule machine where you're going to put a capsule in and take it out and throw it in the garbage, on this one, all you end up with is a used coffee in here. Makes a great compost, by the way, if you grow vegetables. So there's a used coffee puck. This is going to have the capacity for 20 brewing cycles. So you're only going to ever need to pull this out after about 20 cycles. Um, down here in the drip tray, it's going to catch any extra excess water or coffee or spills that you have. It's going to go in here. I'll show you that real quick. It's a really high capacity one. Got a lot of room in there. It is electronically monitored again. So the machine is going to tell you when you need to pull this out and empty it. And then that slides right back in there and then you're ready to go. All right, so I have my phone out, and I have the Joe app running. Now, the Z8, it does come stock with their Smart Connect included that allows you to control the machine with your phone or a tablet computer. I'm gonna use my phone here, give you a little demo. So, a bunch of different drinks I have in here, and pretty much anything you can do on the phone, you, or on the machine, you can do on your phone. I'm gonna go into the menus here just a little bit, give you a quick tour. So I can place orders here. So I can set up multiple drink orders here. I don't want to do that right now. Um, I can do any maintenance items. I can customize my drinks. Let's take just a really quick look at that. So if I wanted to customate, customize my flat white that I'm going to do here, it's going to transfer some data back and forth through the machine. As you can see, I've got control of coffee strength, um, the amount of water, that's how much coffee is going to be brewed, the amount of milk foam, um, the milk foam temperature, the amount of milk and milk temperature. So I can customize all those and save that right there. Now, I'm not gonna change any right, well, I'll just show you how it works. It's really reactive. So if I wanna make it uh, my temperature lower, I can go low, normal, high. I like it hot, so I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna say, yep, let's save all that. Now, if you can see this little icon up here, it means I've added it to Siri, so I can ask Siri to make my drink for me. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm just gonna say, Hey Siri, make Mark's flat white. And here she goes. So I'm going to place my glass. And you see, I didn't touch the machine at all. So I'll leave this up here again so you can see what's going on. So again, it's grinding those whole beans fresh. And this drink, it's going to, it uses two different types of milk. And it also does something else that you're not going to find from most other manufacturers at all. So this is brewing my espresso first and then it's gonna do the milk. Now on most machines, the only option is to have the milk done first and then the espresso brewed over. This, depending on the type of drink you're doing, it can reverse that preparation around. So for instance, if I was doing a latte macchiato, it'll do the milk first and then the espresso so you get those layers. So this mean, machine is just heating up to the steaming temperature and first, it's gonna do just my heated milk into there, and again, I can adjust the temperature of that milk however I'd like. I really do like the uh, refrigerated cool control here. You can leave the milk on the counter, you know, for a number of days if you want, and it keeps it right at 39 degrees. And there is my flat white. I'm gonna take a little drink. Mmm, very nice. Now, I like my milk a little cooler, so I think I had it set, you know, a little cooler. Um, and actually, just a little tip, if you really, if you like the milk drinks, the sweetest point of milk's temperature is about one, between 135, 150 degrees Fahrenheit. That's where it's the best. If you're going out and getting lattes and they're so hot you can't drink them, they're not making them right. Let's go through the touch screen a little bit and I'm going to make an espresso. I just want you to see, you know, we did the thing on the phone, which is really the way I like to work. Uh, but we'll go through the touch screen here and see the available drinks. So you, and you can move these around however you like. So we have two pages of these guys with different drinks. And I want you to take a look at that 40-ounce coffee on there. Like I said, you can make a full pot of coffee. We'll get to that in a second. Then up here, maybe a little hard to see, but there's a rotary dial. So if I start turning this, then I get this carousel. And what I have in here is most of my double drinks. So if I wanted to make two Cafe Baristas, two Americanos, two Ristrettos, those are all up here. If you want to get back to that main screen, just press the back button there, and we're back there. 
and I want to go to that front page and make my espresso, which happens to be right there. Again, you can move these drinks around. You can rename them, call them anything you like. So I'm just going to put my spouts down closer to my glass here and hit my espresso button. Um, something else that Jura Machine does, a couple, couple things special about brewing espresso on here. Um, it doses up to 16 grams. That's more than any other manufacturer is doing. It also uses a thing called PEP brewing. That's a pulse extraction process. So that pulses wa hot water under pressure through the coffee. And if you look at this espresso, just look at the crema on that. I mean, most shops you go to, you're not going to get a shot that looks like that. It's absolutely gorgeous. And again, all these are programmable for amount and temperature and strength. And that's just a beautiful shot of espresso. I'm going to have a little sip here. Mm. Now, when you're brewing some of the other coffee beverages, it doesn't use that pulse extraction process. And if you saw Americano on there, they're, they're uh, becoming very, very popular. Americano, it's uh, espresso with water added, and it's something special that the Z8 does. It mixes water and espresso internally to make a true Americano. That's really cool and kind of an exclusive feature here. It really allows you to totally customize your drinks. Now, I told you this machine could do a full pot of coffee, so that's what we're going to do right now. So I'm just going to take, this isn't the most elegant pot, but so you can probably get something nicer. But I'm just going to place that on there. If you take a look at my screen right now, um, I have customized a name. Again, you can change any names that you want on here to whatever you'd like to 40 ounce coffee. So I'm just going to press that button and let the machine do the rest. So the machine is going to grind and brew a, a number of cycles, however many cycles you set. Um, you can do a much larger pot uh, than what we're doing right here. And you, again, you've got total control over this, like how much uh, the strength of, of the coffee, uh, how much water is added, because this does a water mixing, as you're seeing there, uh, for the coffee. But just think about that, you know, when you want to make a pot of coffee in the morning. There's no filters to deal with, no ground coffee, no grinding. The machine does it all. You just put the pot underneath and press a button. So long as you got your water and beans in there, you're going to have your pot of coffee. You're going to make your neighbors really jealous when they come over when you just place a pot, push a button, and get a pot of coffee. Uh, so easy, so convenient. So our pot's all done. I just want to get a little taste here. Again, you can customize this, you can make more, less, you can even as it does those individual strokes, if you know you had people stand around, you could move cups in and out and just have it do it in each cup. Oh, that's, that is really good coffee. Again, much better when you're going from whole beans ground fresh for each pot and so easy. So let's just kind of recap the machine. I'll talk about a couple features I skipped over real quick. Again, it's the Jura Z8 bean to cup. Um, huge capacities on this one. It's an entertaining dream and also just a dream if you like really, really well-made milk drinks with those two kinds of froth, the ability to really control your froth temperature and customize drink. Um, we talked about the Joe app on your smartphone or tablet that lets you control the machine. Um, you can do anything you can do on the screen here, you can do through that app. And I got to tell you, I've used a lot of apps in the Joe app. It's really well made, really well laid out. Um, again, I was using the Jura Cool Control 34 ounce uh, refrigerated milk unit. So you can leave your milk in here and ready to go. Um, keeps it at 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, some of the extra features on this machine, again, really high spouts, color touch screen display with all your drinks, really easy to access. Um, the aluminum front and top panels. Um, I do like the, the little blue light in the water reservoir here. And again, Jura is all about making these machines easy to use, very convenient. So you clean it with the tablet. Um, any other maintenance you have to do, it always tells you exactly what to do on the screen and you can get instructions there. So that's the Jura Z8. It's available now at Whole Latte Love. If you have any questions about the Z8 or anything coffee, use those comments. I'll get you some answers. And I hope you will subscribe and come on back soon for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.